Hey, oh, Spence Nanko here, coming at you with another little tidbit, help or guide, however you want to word it. So like most of you, I watched Captain America Civil War movie, loved it. Loved the fact that we finally got Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And i got to say, I really like what Tom Holland did for the character. I think he portrayed a really enthusiastic, young, excited that teenage, so to speak, version of Spider-Man. And I really liked that. I think he did a really good job. I liked his quirks. I liked how he looked on the screen. All in all, I thought it was really well done. I kind of wish that we didn't get the spoiler that he was going to be there in the trailers. I wish we kind of just like watched the movie and boom, he was just there like a big surprise. To me, that would have been so much better and I would love that so much more. So like most of you who did enjoy the movie, I purchased the Marvel Legends 3-pack from the Captain America Civil War movie, which came with the Spider-Man here, the Battle Damaged Captain America, and the Battle Damaged Iron Man, who have interchangeable heads and extra accessories and whatnot. Didn't keep them too. I sold them on straight away, but I still ended up paying like £30 for this guy, which I'm annoyed because someone posted on Facebook today that the whole 3-pack is going for like £48. Anyway... This figure, I do like it. I do think it's got some nice features. And I do really like the look of the Spider-Man costume. I'm a big fan when they do... Um, they tweak costumes to make him look a bit different. I'm a bit annoyed that I've now got like so many movie Spider-Man figures. But I'm still a fan of what they did here. And I like the black lines in it. I like the additional black in the actual costume. I think it's really, really good. And... Yeah, I mean, I even like the Amazing Spider-Man 1 costume. I thought that was a pretty nice take on the original, but with a new look. So all in all, really, really like it. Okay, so one of the things that bugs me most about this figure is the hips. Back when they first released the new female teenager mould, so with this Spider-Woman here, they have this problem where the hips, you pose them the wrong way or whatever, and then... I don't think no, this one's going to do it. But yeah, they just pop off. Now, I know I put a bit of pressure there this time, but I've had a lot of problem with these and a lot of problem with the other one. I seem to actually have problems with Marvel Legends hips. So these ones are really frustrating as they do just pop off, but they're not terrible. But his, they were the worst I've seen. So what I ended up doing was grabbing an Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure and basically, I stole the hips. But uh, if we zoom in a bit, so I don't know if you can quite make that out. They they are a different tone. You can quite just about make them out. Now, what I basically did was I heated up the legs from the Amazing Spider-Man figure, and I unpegged them off of the Civil War Spider-Man. And I tried pegging them straight on there, and they fit perfectly. Had to do no alteration to the pegs or anything. They fit on there, and they work perfectly. And I was like, oh, brilliant. That makes things so much easier. Then the next problem was I had to figure out how to get these in here. Well, I split one of these open, and I actually put it on this peg. But it was really, really loose, so it didn't work. So then what I basically did is, if you look here, You see the stretch mark there is I got a knife and I cut basically to the actual peg and I started prying it apart, hoping the whole thing would split, but it didn't really work with this one and it ended up bending it. But, you know, I don't really care because I've got like five of these, so I'm not bothered about that. Not ideal. Um, it's still fixable and I can paint over the, that, so I'm not that bothered about it. But yeah, a bit frustrating that that happened. So that's annoying. With Tom Holland here is same thing, but this time I managed to pry it apart at the side there as well. So if you see there's a little gap there and there, and it doesn't quite go together perfectly, but it holds really nice, and I can always epoxy that, and I could make it fit a bit better, but it works. And now I've got some hips that don't fall off, and they're really nice, and they work really well. So I'm really, really, really happy with that. I'm going to, I've tried to start in here, but not really put that much effort into it. Literally while I was waiting for some glue to dry, I thought I'll give it a quick try. So I'm eventually going to take off all the webbing and then just leave it plain like that and then add the extra lines that he's got on his legs. 
but the paint's not that bad and if you're not bothered by the lines then it's really really not that noticeable and it's a nice easy fudge to get away with it so that's one one thing that i did there and I'm I'm so much happier with these and it means I can pose this figure without any worry about it falling off. Just FYI if you do want to do it yourself this peg I believe is narrower than the one that came out of the Amazing Spider-Man 2. So you are gonna to need to either trim down the peg that comes out of here to make it fit. And you see this little tooth here? You need to trim that down as well because that goes in well the the bum region um, so you need to trim it down to make sure it fits so just basically play with it file it down a bit and then you'll you'll be fine so I mean look at this it comes off without even trying it, it's so ridiculous it just it doesn't go on there all the way you can see like the ball sticking out mostly so whenever you, you put any angle on it it just wants to come out you can see from I've put glue in there to try and thicken it up to try and make it stick a bit better. It didn't work. This side I've put glue on the inside of. Basically, I've put glue just on the lip there, so it kind of makes it grow a bit. I mean, that's all the that housework to do to make this little bit here like half a millimeter bigger, or even a millimeter bigger, just to overlap a little bit more, and you wouldn't have this problem. But because they've gone for the cheapest option possible, you get this problem. There's, I can't think of a fix to this short of actually gluing bits of plastic to this. I tried, sorry, gluing bits of practice to this to try and make it a bit more of a seal. I did try putting some hot glue in there, didn't work. And the more I tried, it got loose and I'm just, I'm not happy with it. Admittedly, I can't, I know a lot of you can say, oh, but you've cut a chunk out of it. I was having this problem before I cut the chunk of it. I cut the chunks out to try and give them a bit more of a leg split because before the most he could do was like, like that. No, like that. And I thought that's terrible for Spider-Man. should be able to do more. I mean, if you look at this one, that's a good Spider-Man straight splits. A lot of you have also no might have noticed that he's got different hands on. The original hands that came with him, I found they were a bit too chubby. They were quite chunky around the actual palm of it. And it made posing a little bit difficult. And like I said, I was really annoyed that I was stuck with just a web shoot around the fist. I wanted the option to have either or. So once again, going back to the old Amazing Spider-Man, I just grabbed the hands off of that and I've had to do no alteration to them whatsoever and they fit in absolutely. Sorry, that was a really awkward angle to take out. They fit in really easy and they're, they're perfect. And then you've now got the option to have fists Now, the webbing's probably a little bit off. I think it's a little bit closer together than the ones I've got. And unfortunately, I can't find those other hands. I'm sorry. Um, I've been going through all my boxes. The problem is I got this figure just before I moved house and I don't know where they went. Um, I thought they were in my general fodder box, but I can't find them. They're not in my Spider-Man box, so I, I don't know where they've gone. So I'm sorry, I can't show you a comparison there. I did take a picture and I posted it on Facebook a while back. I will try and find that before I upload, but I did look earlier and I couldn't find it, so no guarantees there. Um, but yeah, these hands, they work really well, and then it gives the options to have the interchangeable, and the webbing is not that bad. I mean, it's really not terrible. I mean, even the paint, there's a little bit of a bright red. It's not even that bad. So if you wanted to fudge it, You'd be absolutely fine to do that. Anyway, guys, that's basically all I'm really saying here. Uh, there is an option if, like me, you are frustrated by those hips uh, and the hands. Very simple option. It took me, like, probably 20 minutes to do this once I knew what I was doing. I hope this helps. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for some more good stuff. And I'll catch you in my next one. See ya.